Mountains and oil, fjords and trolls, Vikings in the sea, Ibsen and Thor Heyerdahl. A high standard of living and once again a high standard of living. This is Norway. The country is very interesting and original. Norway still has a king. The Kingdom of Norway is the official name of the country. A constitutional monarchy. In practice, the government of the country, of course, is headed by the Queen Prime Minister Erna Solberg. The name of the country comes from the word Norwood Northern Route, which originally referred to the route along which the Normans went to the Northern Seas. Since 2009, Norway has been the undisputed leader of the Human Development Index, an indicator annually calculated by the UN for comparison in different countries, the standard of living, its duration and the level of education of the population. Norway values its independence very much. One of the few European countries that have decided not to join the European Union. But they work closely together. For example, it is part of the Schengen area. Norwegians are original. Even from the neighbors the Swedes they are decently different. The image of the harsh Vikings is of little use to the character of the modern classical Norwegian. They are usually friendly, smiling, well-mannered and reserved. In order to piss off the Norwegians, you need to try very hard. But it's healthier not to experiment. They say it's better for angry Norwegians not to be seen. This is where the Viking in them can wake up. Norwegians don't usually make their private lives public and do not climb into someone else's life and relationships. Not accepted. It is not customary to praise a person strongly in this presence. Compliments can be seen as flattery. The only exceptions are the closest people. As a rule, Norwegians are punctual. They value their own and others' time. Children, of course, are loved, but they try not to indulge. Many representatives of the older generations are adherents of the traditional measured way of life. From young Norwegians, one can often hear complaints about a boring, monotonous life. As a rule, both those and others are proud of belonging to the Norwegian people. Many Norwegians have their national flag raised on a flagpole near their home. If the owners are at home. If they leave, they let them down. People mostly live in private houses. Often quite simple, but comfortable. Many rooftops have field grass lawns. Visiting is by invitation only. Regardless of social status and material security, they are usually dressed modestly. Many young Norwegians dress quite simply. A Norwegian man must make a knife for himself, and at the same time a scabbard. Such is the tradition. The most prestigious professions are sailor, engineer, gas producer. University students in the Svalbard archipelago are taught to shoot. It's simple, there are a lot of bears on Svalbard. Law abiding is inherent in Norwegians. There is little crime. Respect for private property is carefully brought up from the maternity hospital. During the day, many houses are not even locked. Except, of course, in big cities where there are a lot of visitors, on country roads there are tables with fruits and vegetables, price tags, scales and a jar for money. There are no sellers. Self-service. Confidence. You can drive around Norway for a long time and not meet a police car. A murder committed can be discussed for a long time on television and radio. However, let's not forget that many migrants from different countries live in the country, many tourists come. Both those and others do not always fit into the traditional Norwegian foundations. Moreover, 
They say that a Norwegian is already born with skis on his feet. By the way, skiing originated in Norway. Mountain spirits from Scandinavian mythology are popular symbols of many establishments, and their wooden figurines are a favorite handicraft. Trolls do not always harm a person, they can be both good-natured and help, the cost of goods and services is very expensive, even by European standards. This is explained by the high standard of living of the Norwegians. After all, the average salary is about €4,500 Euros per month. Tourists can also apply for tax-free and receive a discount on goods priced at about 30 euros and more. Food in Norway is usually of high quality. The local cuisine is quite simple. Fish, meat, dairy products, bread and porridge. Canning is widely used to preserve stocks for the winter. Norwegians can share recipes for harvesting fish. You can buy whale meat. Expensive. Supermarkets sell beer or cider wine made from apple juice. Stronger alcohol is sold only in bars, restaurants and special state stores van Manipolit. They work on Mondays Fridays, and in Oslo on Saturdays. Alcohol is very expensive, by the way, toasts are not accepted. They just clink glasses and say skull. Opening round bracket for our health. The country has a very beautiful and diverse nature. A lot of mountains. Incredibly picturesque fjords are narrow sea bays that cut far from the sea into the land with shores made of rocks. Norway has the longest stretch of fjords in the world. There are about half a million lakes of various sizes in the country. Some lakes, such as Hernindals Vaknet and Mess, are among the deepest in Europe and the world. The north of the country is climatically quite noticeably different from the south. While in the north there is snow and frost, in the south it can be above zero temperature and without snow. The sun, rain, winds and fogs often change with cosmic speeds. No wonder the Norwegians joke, don't like our weather? Then wait 15 minutes. Norwegians love the sea. There are three of them here at once, Barents, Northern and Norwegian. Many prefer to live closer to the water, have boats, and even a boat. And those who lie far from the sea often acquire an additional house by the sea. Sea and lake fishing is very developed. There are a lot of fish, but few prohibitions. Europeans from other countries are happy to come to Norway to fish. Sometimes even in refrigerated trucks, the country's treasury is replenished primarily from the sale of petroleum products. Incomes are also brought in by shipbuilding, marine fisheries, and the construction of oil platforms. The roads are very good. Interestingly, almost all regional highways are single lane. You rarely meet a Norwegian in an expensive car. Rather, it will be a representative of some other country. Renting a car is an expensive pleasure several times more expensive than in some other European countries. But flights by plane within the country and abroad are able to amaze with cheapness. The country has many islands and straits and the ferry network is very developed. Norway has the largest number of tunnels in Europe. Among them are the world's longest tunnel 24.5 kilometers and the deepest, underwater 287 and below sea level. In 1899, Norwegian engineer Johan Wöhler invented several designs of fine wire paper clips. And there was a patent. During World War II, closed clips were a symbol of resistance to the Nazi occupation. In 1990, a monument to Wöhler was erected in Oslo in the form of a giant paper clip. In summer, many Norwegians become tourists. In particular, they go to warm countries, warm up, travel and you. Don't forget to visit Norway, it's worth it.